Uh, I think that curiosity is actually human nature. It's something that exists in all of us. I mean, from the travels that I've been honored to take across the planet, I've noticed that curiosity sits in every single individual from every corner of this world. It's opportunities that are more difficult to, to identify. But the interesting thing that I realized later on in life was the influence that my own heritage, Asia, had on the modern world. An influence that hadn't been really well described in a lot of ways. I mean, we're talking about with Genghis Khan, a person who created the largest contiguous empire in human history. I mean, let that sink in for a minute, right? We're talking about something that a single individual did in one lifetime that wasn't repeated by the Romans in their entire existence, right? And this happened in Asia. So I wanted to explore this. I wanted to know more about this. And I wanted to know more about my own heritage as uh, you know, uh, a person of this world, but also as an Asian American, as to what influence some of my ancestors had on this planet. And that's when it really got exciting. UCSD is an adventure in itself, isn't it? I mean, I've almost spent half of my life here at UCSD. I think the most important thing that I learned was how to be persistent, how to have tenacity, and how to, to learn, how to learn. And along the way, I've, I've been inspired by people. I mean, it's been the people that have made me want to stay. I started an effort that didn't have any clear funding in front of it, that seemed very controversial, that we didn't know if we'd get permission to go and actually do this type of exploration, that talked about using tools and technologies that didn't even exist yet. And we wanted to do so in a very aggressive plan and believed that we were going to be able to make this happen. And then over the course of a couple of years, we started building a project that became internationally recognized. and has allowed us to go into the farthest remote regions of the world to do exploration that has been the point of controversy and legend for hundreds and hundreds of years. Looking in a place that has been forbidden to go to for hundreds of years, you know. I mean, it's, it's a dream come true, but with all that in mind, I mean, with all of that path from the very beginning, from this crazy idea that started out saying we could do this, to the point in which we're actually standing there in the field with these big trucks and these horses and, you know, controlling satellites from space and, and building teams and speaking in front of the ambassadors of countries. It started out as an idea and it needed to get to a critical radius and it was because of the friendships and, and, and the camaraderie of, of the fellow students and, and colleagues that I, I had gone to school with that we were able to get past that, that point and actually turn it into reality. And all along the way, that's what fueled the next, you know, the next phase of the projects or the, the next growth. And those individuals that, that built that, that project together are people that I look back on now as being um, lifelong friends, not only colleagues, but lifelong friends. And having known them is probably what I'm most proud of because building a team like that is... Um, is a once-in-a-lifetime experience.